I wonder how it was it like that morning when Sleeping Beauty woke up after her one true kiss. No, what I meant was what if Sleeping Beauty didn't sleep well? What if she was sleep deprived? Everybody needs sleep. Animals need sleep. Nobody can avoid it. Sleep is the best beauty treatment in the world and the best thing about it is it's free. You already know what it's like to be sleep deprived. Your skin gets drier and paler, you're edgy, your dark circles go in intense mode, you stress easier and your immune system is lowered as well. We may not be sleeping beauty but we can get beauty sleep. Today, I'm going to share how you can sleep better so you can wake up feeling good and looking good. And also share how you can take advantage of sleep whilst beautifying yourself. Your bedroom should be your sacred place for rest and relaxation. So if you can, try to avoid working in your bedroom. I know, I know this could be hard. I used to not be able to wind down and relax because my bedroom just wasn't associated to relaxation to me, but stress. Now I work in either my office or in my dining table. If your bedroom is the only place you can work in, then make sure you don't work on your bed. Keep it only for sleeping. This will help you wind down easier after a long, hard day at work. We should all stay hydrated throughout the night, but try to just sip your water rather than taking big gulps, or you'll find yourself waking up constantly throughout the night to use the bathroom. This will disrupt your sleeping pattern. Avoid sugary and caffeine because you guys already know why. Why did I have that espresso? I have to get up in three hours. <laughs> Unless you want to wake up with a puffy face, then avoid eating anything high in sodium or MSG. This one's hard for a lot of us, but try to avoid using your computer, uh, watching TV, using your phone for about one hour before you sleep. These things stimulate the brain, making it more difficult for you to fall asleep. Good night. Hot baths help to induce sleep. It's also the perfect way to unwind from a busy, stressful day. So let your muscles soak up and let your troubles melt away. Your body temperature rises during your bath, but once you're done with it, it immediately cools down, relaxing your body and mind. If you don't have a bathtub, then simply just soak your feet in a bucket of warm water. Do you know that you can give yourself a beauty treatment while you sleep? Especially if you have a radiator on or the aircon, because those things can be super drying on the skin. Today, there's a lot of great sleeping pack masks out there and they basically form a film over your skin, keeping the moisture locked within. you probably even heard the old toothpaste trick as well. Just apply some toothpaste to your spots and leave it overnight and should dry it right up. The aircon can be so drying on my lips so I always apply a lip balm before I go to bed and I keep it right in my bedside. Speaking of bedside, another product I always keep next to me is also my hand cream. I use my hands constantly throughout the day and I always wash them so the only time I really apply hand cream is at night. Raise your pillows. So if you only have one pillow, try stacking on another one. This prevents the fluid from building up in your face when you sleep so it prevents your face from bloating and your eyes from getting all puffy. On a beauty aspect, try sleeping on your back rather than on your face because gravity will actually give you a natural facelift. Instead, when you sleep on your side, you're squishing your cheeks together and this could actually cause premature wrinkles and fine lines. If you must sleep on your face, then try switching to a silk pillow cover because this is much more gentle on the skin and it's also healthier for your hair. to do a little bit of reading before I go to bed. Nothing too exciting or I'll be up all night trying to read everything. Instead, I like to read something that's more feel good because it puts me in a positive heart and mind. Plus, it helps me sleep as well. I don't even light my scented candle, I just keep it by my bedside and the last thing I smell is this beautiful scent and the first thing I smell in the morning is also this beautiful scent. You need darkness when you sleep because it increases the production of melatonin which helps you sleep. If your room isn't dark enough, then definitely put on a sleeping mask. I always find I fall asleep much quicker when I have it on. Good night, sweet dreams! <coughs> the morning after, just finish off that glass of water because your body gets very dehydrated during the night and the bodily functions even slow down as well, so you want to replenish the fluids. By doing this, you're also helping to speed up your body's metabolism as well. 
We may not be Sleeping Beauty. Hello, look at me! I'm a princess! Nor wake up as if from a musical. Good morning, George. How are you? I hope you're feeling fine. But we can wake up from a good night's sleep feeling fresh, invigorated, and ready for the day ahead. A new day, a new beginning, new opportunities, new people to meet, new ways to love, new ways to live. Have a wonderful day, guys, and most importantly, have a wonderful sleep. Yeah! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Yeah.